Takahashi Meijin, whose real name is Toshiyuki Takahashi, was an executive at the now-defunct video game company Hudsonsoft. You may know Hudsonsoft as the creators of the TurboGrafx-16 and Bomberman, but let's be honest, it's more likely that you played one of the eight Mario Party games they developed. As head of Hudson's PR division for more than 26 years, he had more in common with someone like Reggie than he did Miyamoto. He acted as a hype man for the company, going on nationwide tours to promote their games and garnering such a cult status that he actually ended up in a lot of games as a sort of human mascot. But the thing that made his popularity skyrocket was even crazier. At the height of the 80s, he supposedly had the ability to press a button at a rate of 16 times per second. Like 16, that's a lot. Even now he can still hit around like 12 or 13. He had a whole technique developed and everything, like just watch this guy go. So back in 2010, Hudson released a DSi exclusive title called 16 Shot. Its sole functionality is to record how fast you can hit a button. Your goal, challenge the master at his own game. This cost actual money, but it did get me thinking. From a mechanics standpoint, this may just be the simplest game ever created. One button, hit it as fast as possible. And that begs the question, if this is the simplest single-player game out there, could you modify it slightly to make it the simplest two-player game ever created? The answer, I'd argue, is yes. I don't know if you remember, but 2012 was not an especially great year for the Wii. So as a dying console, the Wii's big headliners that year were... Mario Sports Mix! Mario Sports Mix! But February saw the launch of what I think was the last truly great game to come out for the Wii. Rhythm Heaven Fever. I don't blame you if you missed out on it, it didn't get a huge marketing push, but take my word for it, it is worth every dollar. It's a super weird and charming rhythm-based minigame collection with like hundreds of challenges, has the artist from WarioWare and a banging soundtrack, and the best part, believe it or not, no motion controls. Just the A or the B button. It's even got a two-player co-op mode. Which reminds me, Mochi Pounding is one of the most exhilarating games I've ever played. Most of the minigames are based around a constant song and you perform actions in sync to the music, but Mochi Pounding is a side game that is technically endless, meaning you're meant to aim for a high score. Inspired by the traditional Japanese rice dish, each player has a Wii Remote and takes the role of a Mochi Pounder, where pressing the A button will swing the hammer to hit the rice mound. The goal of the minigame is to hit the mound the specified number of times under the time limit of 15 seconds. The catch is that the two players must alternate hits, and the Mochi will break if a player hits twice in a row. The early rounds require 15, 35, 55, 75, and then 100 hits, after which each round goes up by 10, with 110, 120, and so on. Now you can probably see why I view this as the co-op equivalent to 16 shot, except it's no longer a test of how fast your trigger finger is, but how fast can you maintain a rhythm with another player. There's a weird amount of strategizing that goes into the game before that first hit is even taken, since the counter doesn't start until that first hit is made. But really, there isn't much you can strategize about. The real points of discussion are who is going to hit first, and how to count down to that. But in my experience, we almost always try to discuss what speed we're going to alternate at, as if that's something we can even hope to control, and not just like, a physical instinct that we just latch onto. And it is so unbelievably hard. As soon as one player hesitates for even a fraction of a second, it's, it's all over. You're done. The other player might beat them to it and break the mound, but sometimes both players forget who hit last and it's just like, you have to guess. And even if they do guess correctly, that split second delay will likely have caused you to run out of time anyway. So yeah, this is my case for the simplest co-op game ever created. It might not seem that exciting or interesting when it's described to you like this, but I, I swear when you play it, you'll just immediately latch onto it. You can't get enough of it. One thought that has probably crossed your mind though, what's stopping a single player from playing with both Wii remotes? Great question. Um, nothing. Who are you to question my ability game? I am not subject to your whims and rules for I am more than player one. I am more than player two. I am become death, destroyer of high scores, and I will be your... Hey, how's it going? Uh, just wanted to give some quick context for this video. This was originally part of a much larger collaboration video on my friend Zach's channel, with about a dozen or so friends of mine. Essentially the concept was for each of us to make a short segment using an idea that we've been like, maybe kicking around but we haven't been able to figure out how to make into a full video on its own. So we combined all of these like smaller ideas into a big mixtape kind of sampler thing to uh, show off all our individual uh, contrasting styles to making videos. All all the segments are between about one minute to four minutes or so, uh, lots of cool people worked on it. Um, it was fun to make, uh, I recommend giving the full thing a watch, I have links in the description, hope you like it.